Hi friends and happy Monday. This week I am enjoying a wonderful adventure along California's Big Sur coast and I am so excited to be partnering with a beautiful and historic property tucked away in a forest of coastal redwoods. Join me for a lovely stay at Big Sur Lodge. Conveniently located right off Highway 1 in the heart of Pfeiffer Big Sur State Park, Big Sur Lodge is a fantastic place to stay on any road trip up or down the Central Coast year round with beautiful cottage style cabins, on site dining, and direct property access to towering redwoods. It's no wonder that this property has been welcoming guests for well over a century. It wasn't long after John Pfeiffer settled here in the late 1800s that weary travelers began finding rest and refuge along their coastal journeys. John and his wife Florence graciously hosted guests here until they decided to officially open the Pfeiffer Ranch Resort in 1908. The Big Sur Lodge we get to stay at today sits in that very spot, continuing the Pfeiffer's legacy of warm hospitality and excellent service. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Dawn, a full-time travel blogger, and every Monday on my website, flyingdawnmarie.com, I share a new adventure. And these YouTube videos bring you along with me for a virtual visit every time. So make sure to turn on notifications, like, and subscribe, and let's explore together. Today, Big Sur Lodge offers 62 cottage-style guest rooms nestled in a serene redwood forest located up the hill from the main lodge, ranging from queen or king guest rooms to a variety of suite options, all of which offer a perfect escape from the hustle and bustle of city life. The towering redwoods found here provide a sense of peace and tranquility that's hard to find elsewhere, and the rustic yet charming cottages perfectly complement the natural beauty surrounding them. This week, I have the pleasure of staying in one of the property's queen suites. Now, there are multiple styles and variations to choose from when booking, depending on how big your party is and what you're looking for. However, this cabin suite is complete with a full kitchen packed with everything you'd need for your stay, as well as a separate bedroom and a wonderful living area. The spacious living area provides a wonderful fireplace. You know I will be cranking that up later this evening. And the vaulted ceilings feature a skylight. They even provide games for you to play here. You know, I definitely love getting the fire roaring here. And once it's going, this is the perfect place to enjoy your cup of coffee in the morning or a relaxing glass of wine at the end of a day. The full-size kitchenette here is wonderful for families or anyone who just wants to make a meal on their own time. A full-size refrigerator, you've got your stove, microwave. This is the perfect place to enjoy a meal right inside the state park. The kitchen cabinets are fully stocked with utensils and cookware, pots and pans. You can easily cook dinner or bake your favorite dessert anytime. Just down the hall from the main living area, dining table and kitchenette is the bathroom and a wonderful little sitting area, the perfect place to get some work done before heading into the bedroom. My cottage has a wonderful separate primary bedroom, the perfect place to wind down at the end of the day. And there are beautiful forest views right out the window.
Just across the road from the cottages is a wonderful swimming pool to enjoy in the summer and also the conference center area. In fact, there's a special guest here you might see quite frequently. The wild turkeys roamed the grounds here every day of my recent visit. You can drive or walk from the cottages through the Redwoods down to the main lodge in under a quarter of a mile. And inside you have the main lobby check-in area, a gift shop filled with both local goods, snacks, and any necessities you might need for your visit. The lodge lounge has wonderful games to enjoy and a little library where you can grab a book and enjoy the crackling fireplace. In the lounge, there's also a wonderful video that plays sharing fascinating Big Sur information. Make sure to check it out when you're here. Make sure to drop by the espresso house inside the lodge for a range of specialty drinks, grab-and-go snacks, and satisfying treats. Whether you need a morning pick-me-up or a post-hike indulgence, this spot has you covered with a wide array of satisfying beverages and delectable snacks. Found inside the main Big Sur Lodge building, the Homestead Restaurant is the perfect place to enjoy breakfast, lunch, or dinner. The culinary team here carefully selects local ingredients and prioritizes sustainable agricultural practices. I couldn't have been more pleased with the recommendations. I loved the Salmon Creek Salad, which was prepared perfectly, along with Helen's Hot Chicken Sandwich. The Buffalo Habanero Sauce has just the right kick. I actually went back for seconds when it came to the crispy buffalo cauliflower bites. And don't forget dessert when dining here. After trying them for myself, I understand why the beignets are the most popular dessert item offered at the Homestead restaurant. After enjoying our meal, let's head out and explore the beauty of nature. With Big Sur Lodge being situated inside Pfeiffer Big Sur State Park, there is so much to discover here. The trails and natural beauty that envelop this lodge allow for leisurely walks and awe-inspiring scenery. There are several trails to enjoy in the park which vary in distance and difficulty, providing opportunities for everyone to explore at their own pace. One of my personal favorite short hikes is the Nature Trail and River Walk Loop. In less than a mile, this trail takes you along a gentle path and boardwalk among towering redwoods with multiple informative plaques and beautiful Big Sur River views. This is the perfect short hike to stop and stretch your legs even if you're not staying at Big Sur Lodge. You can see some of the most impressive ancient coastal redwoods here. And stay tuned because next Monday I'm going to put a full blog post together about this trail. It is a wonderful stop I would recommend on any Big Sur trip. While you don't have coastal access inside Pfeiffer Big Sur State Park, it has many highlights including majestic groves of coastal redwoods. Some ancient giants are over a thousand years old and for close-up views of one of the tallest trees in this state park, you're going to want to visit the colonial tree standing over 277 feet tall and 31 feet in diameter. It's estimated this old growth redwood is over 1200 years old. Can you believe you can just walk from the Big Sur Lodge to this giant? Another popular trail inside Pfeiffer Big Sur State Park has to be the Valley View Trail and Pfeiffer Falls. They have stunning views and a serene waterfall. 
This is the perfect hike for Big Sur Lodge guests because the trailhead is located by the main lodge building, but also a direct walk from the cottages where I'm heading out from. Now, if you're visiting the park just for the day, I'd recommend parking at the day use lot number two or number one, and then heading along the short river path across the Redwood Deck to access this trailhead. I'll link more of that information in my full blog post. Pfeiffer Falls is named after John and Florence Pfeiffer, homesteaders on this land in the late 1800s after being approached by a Los Angeles land developer in the 1930s for a huge sum of money in those days. The Pfeiffers instead decided to sell 700 acres to the state of California to form this wonderful state park, which bears their name today. And nearly a century later, as park visitors, we are certainly blessed by their decision to preserve this magnificent slice of nature. The official Pfeiffer Falls Trail is closed due to significant trail damage, but you can still reach this wonderful waterfall via the Valley View Trail, and you'll absolutely want to hit this trail up because the Overlook Bench gives you incredible views of Big Sur River Valley and even Point Sur far off in the distance. Another can't miss spot here is the Big Sur River Gorge. Now this area has actually been referred to as a mini Yosemite, so you know I'm bound to love it. It does take a bit of rock hopping and scrambling to really enjoy the views, but I definitely can see glimpses of almost a mini Merced here. This is incredibly popular, particularly in the summer months. However, when I recently tested out the water for myself, it was still rather chilly. Not only do Big Sur Lodge guests enjoy free entry into Pfeiffer Big Sur State Park during their visit, they also can enjoy Andrew Molera State Park and the historic structures that are found here, as well as Julia Pfeiffer Burns State Park, which is home to one of Big Sur's most famous features, the incredible McWay Falls. And this state park is also home to one of my favorite Big Sur hikes in Partington Cove. As wonderful as the state parks are, Big Sur Lodge is also the perfect home base for an adventure at Pfeiffer Beach. In fact, the Keyhole Arch phenomenon that happens every December and January is always a favorite of photographers, but this beach is certainly gorgeous to visit year round. Whether you're planning a coastal visit or a stroll through the towering redwoods, Big Sur Lodge is a wonderful place to stay any time of year. Thank you so much for joining me this week in Big Sur. And for more information on my stay at the Big Sur Lodge and Pfeiffer Big Sur State Park, make sure to check out my full blog post at flyingdawnmarie.com, where I also have a complete Big Sur section with almost a dozen unique posts. I also want to mention, if you haven't, check out our Etsy shop. Nate and I have brand new Big Sur gear prints and this shirt all online. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button and subscribe. And until next week, I hope you find adventure and encouragement wherever you go. Bye.